What's up guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we are doing something a little bit different on my channel and I've been really wanting to do it for quite a while and I figured, you know what, no better time than the present. This probably, this video is gonna be a little bit weird as I kind of figure out this portion of my channel, but we are going to be doing my makeup today for an everyday makeup pale girl, got no tanner on routine while I react to one of my favorite YouTubers, CJ Faison. He posted a recent video about his Honeycut Farm. Um, now I did mention this in previous videos. I do really wanna to start to go through and actually do reaction videos when it comes to things that I really enjoy. There are a ton of videos out there, people reacting to like skincare, makeup, fashion, really everything. Um, and to be honest, guys, like I haven't been watching a lot of that content. Maybe it's just the time of year. Obviously today is <laughs> Sunday, October 31st when it's Halloween today. But if you don't know, watching haunted content is one of my favorite, not one of, it is my favorite type of genre to watch here on YouTube. I've been doing it for quite a few years at this point. Um, I don't just watch it during the Halloween period. Um, I watch it really every single day because I become very just like immersed and <laughs> take to put this way, but like infatuated. Like I just, I am so interested in the whole haunted ghost paranormal activity realm. And I have been a little bit just dabbling and wanting to get involved in that kind of genre on, Inst on um, YouTube, but actually going out and doing like ghost hunts and that kind of stuff kind of freaks me out a little bit because I'm not trying to bring that type of energy back to my household. But I've been watching a lot of videos on here recently of people actually reacting, not a lot of videos, there's like one or two channels that I watch of people reacting to haunted content. So I figured, you know what? This is a really good way for me to actually start filming while also incorporating a little bit of makeup into it. In my future videos, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing like like reaction videos while doing my makeup because it's kind of like a weird combination of like two very different genres here on YouTube bringing it together. I just happen to have to get ready right now and I don't have time later on to film this video and I really 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 want to. So just to buckle down to it what we're going to be doing is reacting to it CJ Faison's new-ish video about him exploring his honeycut farm house. If you don't follow CJ the first thing I want you guys to do is obviously go over to his channel look it up. Um, if you do watch any haunted content I'm sure that you know who CJ Faison, Faison is. He is one of the most famous YouTubers in this paranormal haunted realm on YouTube. I started watching this content a couple, not his content, well, his content and a lot of other YouTubers contents a couple of years ago. I will say I specifically chose this video to jump into as my first video of reaction because one, he's like one of my favorite YouTubers out there for this type of content. Two, this series on his channel, the Honeycut Farm series is probably one of his most successful and the most interesting on there. And I have done a couple of videos in the past like reacting. I haven't actually posted them because to be honest, a couple of years ago, he did like a ton of haunted content that he kind of got away from it and started doing random nautica and like his past couple of haunted videos have been just boring to be honest like there's not really much activity but this one i've been waiting around for what i would recommend though is if you guys are interested in the haunted ghost paranormal activity realm here on youtube go over to his channel and watch the whole honeycut farm series that it is insane literally batshit insane before you even watch this one and then come back to this video and watch this because i'm really curious to see what what it's all about so what i'm going to do before i even get into anything please do me a favor and just like share subscribe to this video and let me know what you guys think about it if people actually do like this type of content i probably will start a whole separate channel on youtube to do like haunted reactions videos because this doesn't really match up to like the vloggy stuff that i'm doing but for right now until i know what you guys think about it i'm going to keep it here on this channel so without further ado we are going to get into my reactions here we go okay i have to first of all screen record i am watching this on my on my ipad so there's going to be times for this video where i have to pause both of this to kind of like get back into it because my old my ipad i just gotta double check my ipad's actually screen recording things because i again i've tried to do this last week with one of his videos and it worked but i just i wasn't really impressed by the video so i just i didn't want to post it so i'm not gonna lie i actually have watched <laughs> about nine minutes of this video and it's be it's because i did a reaction to a couple of his videos last week to you guys can see the two that he did here with uh, the ghost of elizabeth the his whole haunted tunnel thing and honestly it was really boring so i didn't want to post it um so i wanted to make sure that this video is actually like there's stuff in it and substance in it to make it worth my time of reacting to and i kind of i'm a big like fast forwarder through youtube videos so i'm like always click the next button and shit got real real fast so i didn't watch the whole thing but i did watch about nine minutes of of it and I missed a lot so what we're gonna do is really back up this video is 31 minutes long I will chop it down to just like the bare basics of what I think that it really should be a reaction to and okay he's just doing like a little recap here okay here we go I'm spending the night inside the Honeycutt house. That's pretty loud. All alone. Where are my friends? Wish I could tell you. Dylan's got the radio. 
races tonight. Sonny's got wrestling. It's just basically me here alone. Sonny came here um, about two weeks ago when I was in Indiana filming and filmed here uh, by himself. I don't think he made it, but about two or three hours inside here before he dipped. Um, have not um, seen his Yes, if you guys don't know, he does partner up with a couple of other YouTubers on his channel, people who he actually works with in his, in his daily life, which is why he's mentioning this. Sunny Deeds is another YouTuber. I would highly recommend watching him. Um, he pretty much films a lot of the same stuff that CJ films, except um, it's a lot more raw, I would say. He does a lot more uncut stuff, where CJ does a lot of cut things, and just the way that they do is it, their styles are totally two totally very different things. I actually just watched Sunny Deeds video this morning, um, and shit got real in the end. Like, literally doors were moving you could hear loud shit the one complaint that i have about both of them which i'm sorry i'm doing this very early on is that they tend to give up very early on in their discovery process and it's hard like one thing that sunny really did is you, there's like some really good footage of this house um in his video of like literally doors moving like and there's no drafts or anything and you can hear shit which is just crazy but i want to let everybody know if you're new to the channel you don't know what the honey it's a farm that I bought two years ago. Listen this up. is the house that resides on the property. It's not much to look at from just bare walls, but there's a lot of deep and dark history that is going on inside here. Tonight, I'm spending the night. I'm all alone, unfortunately. And with that being said, I'm going to probably sleep either in this room. I don't know what room I'm sleeping in yet, but um, this is the kickoff to an entire series here at the Honeycutt Farm. Now, Sunny and I are supposed to stay the weekend inside one of the main buildings and uh we're, we're gonna do just that but um with any i am super curious to see if they actually do that because i watched another one of his videos on his vlogs where he had actually mentioned that he like they were going to do it but they ended up not doing it and they were going to kind of say goodbye to it so this is one of his last videos in the honeycut farm um again please go watch the other videos that he posted because they're fucking insane um like sunny never went back to the farm because like this is the farmhouse this is a house that's actually on the property of the farm and it's not as haunted as the actual farm itself like there's some real shit that happens um in those videos and it's like nuts so i'm really surprised that they're back doing this but the farm the house had a lot of haunted stuff happen there but there's also been some videos that he's posted where it had like nothing's actually happened so i'm super excited and if this video does well i really want to do a full reaction to the other videos that he has for the honeycut farm because i think that this is gonna be the last series that he does there because i think he's selling the property but i'm really curious further ado that's gonna have to wait for another couple of weeks so let's get investigating here folks hey everybody now that i got your attention i'm gonna fast forward through all this it's just like him so much. selling his shit Back to the video. This is gonna be the last time. This is this is this is it for me. This season at the Honeycutt Farm is gonna be it. Yeah, just like I said. If there's any spirits here with me, I want you to know that um I'm here. And probably not the best thing to just blur out. I don't know. Alright, so I do have to give a little bit of context here. There is a box that is down here that a lot of you wanted me to go through and open um, about a couple of weeks ago when I was here. Yeah, he did so, another video. I'm hoping you guys can hear me. He did another video a couple weeks ago when he was at the farm, at this house, and like nothing happened. Literally nothing happened. There were like barely any sounds, nothing. And it was just like, it was actually a really boring video. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing, just tea. Shocking. Just tea. Yeah. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, how are you watching this while doing your makeup? Um, I have really good peripheral vision. <laughs> There's any spirits here with me, I just want to let you know that uh, I want to communicate with you and I want you to be very friendly to me tonight, please. I'm not asking for any trouble or any sorts. A lot of y'all were asking that. Friendly? He just, he wants Casper the ghost. From uh, last year was still in there. Yep, it's still in that grate as you can see. And also there's a lot of questions about 
Uh, ah! Me. See, okay. Here is my biggest complaint, and I'm sure CJ's never gonna watch this channel, but here's my biggest complaint about his videos is that he always hears things like bangings and things happening and he's not filming it. I just wish that he put multiple cameras up just so you could see everything that's happening because like, you don't hear half the shit that he hears. And I don't know if it's like, if he's actually experiencing it. Like I've seen some real shit on his channel before, so I know I'm, I'm not like saying that none of his stuff is real, but a lot of his stuff I feel like is very exaggerated sometimes because we can't hear the things that you're hearing, bruh. Like, I didn't hear anything. That sounded like it was upstairs. I'm not sure if that was upstairs or not. All right, like I told myself driving here, I'm planning on not freaking out. I'm gonna try not to. Um, why is this filter on the game? Hang on, what in the world? Okay, I'm gonna fast forward through this. Oh, the one thing I did not do. Oh shit. Yeah, that's open because Sonny had it open when he was there a couple yeah, of weeks ago. Definitely locked. Yeah, that's why. I'm wondering. Sorry, I'm gonna... I didn't hear anything. That was his that, him making that noise. Hello? If there's any spirits up there, just want to let you know I'm coming up and uh, do not mean any harm at all. Please do not kill me. All right. Oh my God. Yeah, let's not do that today. I need something to step on. No, I have to get on the stupid dryer. Okay, fast forwarding. Actresses. Last year when we found that there is an attic up here, but there is definitely a lot of stuff. Um, that piece of paper, I believe, was information there about the uh, Honeycutt farm itself. So I'm going to just jump down from here. Ah, just a second. So um, I do have a little bit of information to fill you all in on. Um, <clears throat> there has been... Um, more information that's brought forward to me uh, about the particular history inside this house. So I, I thought there was maybe one to two confirmed people who passed away in this house. Nope, we got to add that to four. Now, one was um, what I would consider to be probably a self-inflicted type of injury. It was never proven, but it was just basically kind of like could have been one, could have been the other. Um, they definitely ruled out like homicide, but it just seems weird to me that they didn't like confirm it as like a suicide type thing. So I, I just I don't know. Um, I, I'm very nervous being here tonight for for all of you watching. Ah! Shit. Okay. Okay. Those are the things I love that you can hear. Houses make noise, right? Houses make noise, but do they make that much noise? Like that was pretty loud. That was fucking loud. Um, and I'm sure, right? Like you guys can see, he's very he exaggerates a lot. Like he's like that was a big scream. Um, but it has to be a lot scarier being there than actually just like watching it, um, especially when you're alone. And all, the only light that you have in your house is like that cam that that light on top of your camera, right? Like that's freaky. All right, definitely upstairs. Hello! The ghost is gonna be like, hello! Hello! Welcome! Ah! Me! What the fuck was that? 
Hello? I'm trying not to freak out. I'm trying not to freak out right now. I'm trying not to freak out. Okay, so we're also kind of curious because uh, it's been a little bit since he showed that, showed the house, and he's never actually showed like the outside of the house. Are there like trees around the house? You know, because I used to live on the east coast with like a lot of big trees around, and like if you have a lot of trees or greenery and it's like windy outside, like things hit your house. Your houses make noises, right? So it's like that. It like did a tree branch like fall on the roof, and that's what you're hearing. Is there like squirrels in the ceiling? These are my thoughts. I'm not gonna freak out, I'm hyperventilating a little bit, but... Everything should be okay. I hate this place! Bro, come on, let's go. Get your shit together, come on. All right, bro, come on. Pick it up. Like, what are you doing? You're just sitting there. There we go. All right, I'm going to break out the neck and fall again. If you want to communicate then, we'll communicate. Fine. Let's talk. Because I feel like every time I come to this place, it's something. What's your name? Can you tell me your name? I've been chasing your name for three years. Time to tell me. Beth. Is that right? Beth? Hate? Do you hate me? Okay, so if you... <laughs> This is the only problem I have about the Necrophonic app, right? Like, I think it's a great tool, but I think that I'm gonna like very, like, very strategic, like, very technical with you guys right now. Um, I feel like there's a lot of words that are automatically like put into the app. The app is amazing because it's, it's a spirit spot, spirit box essentially. So it's a way for like, if you guys don't know what a spirit box is, um, like an old school spirit box, like goes through all of the channels of radio, and you hear this constant. Ch -ch 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 which is super annoying so the app actually cuts a lot of that out which is amazing but i feel like the creators of the app also put in like random like words to make it more scary i think a lot of it is very real but when they put words like leave or go or death or die or that kind of stuff and you hear like the same voices come on with that app, i think that it's like a lot of it's fake um but again i think a lot of it's also very real so i'm just I don't know, take it for what it is, I think, you know. Uh, let me know, what are your opinions on that? Do you guys know much about it? Um, I don't know. Up. Are you trying to tell me that you're, you're residing in the attic? Yes or no? What's your, what's your name? Um, I, I apologize for coming across so hard. 
Can you tell me your name though? I need a clear, accurate name. I've been chasing your name for three years. They just gave you the name. Henry. Is that what your name is, Henry? Can you can you speak that clear? What's that? Can you speak that again? Done. Do you want me to be done here? I heard something happen in the bathroom. Can you want to you want to tell me what happened in the bathroom? Uh, <laughs> like, ah, ah, no, no, I really don't want to. Okay, I'm gonna ask you some questions here. All right, let, let's talk here. I'm in the bathroom where I know confirm something happened. What's your name? What happened? Brink. Brink. Bro. Brink, are you here with me? Waiting. What are, what are you waiting on? Chills. Oh my God. I wish you guys could see this. Chills. Come on, go. Can you see? I literally have a goosebumps all on here. My hair is sitting on end. Do they really just say that? If you got, okay. <laughs> Context. Sunny, the person he always films with goes by Sunny Deeds. Like that's his channel. Deeds. That's nuts. Hub building. You want me to go to the big building? No. So you want me to stay in here? Can you, can you, can you, can you, let me ask you this. Can you tell me what a person was killed with inside this house? What kind of weapon? Why do you want me to run? I don't. I don't they don't. That's one of the. That's one of those things that they just put in there into the app. It's quiet. What did I do to you to make you just target me? Hide. Why do you want me to hide? Can you repeat that for me, please? Leave. Is, is this dangerous for me to be here? Tell me something that you want me to know. All, all, of, all of this is getting leveled. All of this is getting leveled. This is going to be a neighborhood. The entire property. So you better tell me now. I'm just trying to get answers. Is 
Is there something evil here? Come on, bro, do something. Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna set up this still cam right here. And, oh, shit. Hang on. Where's the damn infrared thing at? All right, there we go. All right, so this is, uh, this is infrared mode. I'm gonna keep this camera rolling. It's got about, there is 307 minutes on the battery. Um, I put both infrared lights on up top right here. Just tap my eye. Oh, shit. Doing that with contacts in is not fun. Oh my god. Oh, I know. Like, you could tell it's oh good. This mascara, by the way, guys, sorry, I know I'm like watching haunted content while doing my makeup. It's just like, this mascara, mascara, this eyeliner is not really great for staying in the waterline. It's amazing for above the waterline, but not great for on it. Um, just kind of helps it brighten up just a little bit more. That's what it would kind of look like infrared wise. And then that's what it looks like with that one. So um, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, grab the sleeping bag, get it set up in the other room, get the other camera set up, and uh, leave this thing recording as long as it can. Ooh, my flashlight was already on. Are you like gonna go to sleep? So Sonny said on his video that this door moved somehow, so I'm gonna keep this camera. Okay, so he does have numerous cameras. Okay, here we go. Shit's gonna get juicy. I can just feel it. So, for everybody watching at home, I just really feel at this point I'm spending the night in a friend's house. One with a really f***ed up past. I don't care if I'm leaving my shoes on. Yo, I give him all credit for doing this. Uh, because... First and foremost, if I was sleeping in like a regular house, I never sleep with my head to the door. For some reason, I always have to have my feet to it. I don't want somebody randomly sneaking up behind me. And maybe he's just doing it because it's like the fear factor and all that, but I give him credit. Like that's fucking, that takes, that takes some guts. Cause I'm not walking on this nasty carpet. Just switching brushes. I'm gonna get this over with so I can see what's going on. I don't know why, but there's. Oh. This is a drop cord. This place is disgusting. That's why I have the sleeping bag, y'all. So in that way, I don't touch this carpet. I slept on this carpet last year. I will say this, there is no way now that I would be staying in here if 
I felt uncomfortable. I feel uncomfortable, but there's a point where comfort and security is is is, is worth more to me. And I felt things here and I feel things here, but it's not like it's not like the not like the barns. So it is really starting to get cold, y'all. Oh god. So I was thinking also oh, I try to um I try different methods of um <clears throat> methods of trying to help myself come back here. And every time it just is over and over and over, it all, it all plays over my head again about the very last time that we came to the honey cut last year, Sonny and I. And you had knives thrown at you? Like... And, um, and we had, um, we had a, what I would consider to be a traumatic experience and didn't, didn't quite go the way I want to. And my pro my biggest problem in life is I, I want answers and I want I just want to know why. Now, what are the names? What truly happened to him? You know? It's like anything. I mean, you think of this, you know, Brian Laundry and Gabby Petito case. You know, we, we don't have answers. Same thing with a honeycut farm. There's no set in stone answers. Again, this is, um... It doesn't like right now. I don't. I don't. I, I don't feel uncomfortable, but I don't feel like fall asleep. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. That's you'd be fucking weird if you could. <laughs> oh my god! Like, what sane person chooses to do this? Are you gonna fast forward? 301, there you go. That's in the other bedroom, right? Yeah. Okay, something has to happen while you're showing 301. Six prime witching hour. Okay, something gonna happen. I don't want to miss anything. No way. Okay, I don't know. I keep feeling like I'm seeing something in the background. Like, the video is so dark because it's, it's in infrared mode, but I keep feeling like I'm seeing something in, not in the direct, like the direct doorway, but the doorway to the kitchen, which is, there's like three doorways. <laughs> there's like one that's like right behind him, and one that's leading into the living room, one's leading into the kitchen, which is like a tiny little slot. I keep feeling like I'm seeing that, but now footsteps, bro. Bro, could you imagine hearing that at 3.30 in the morning? Uh-uh. Okay, wow, okay, we have literally six minutes left, to five minutes left, this shit's gotta get crazy, come on.
I'm like afraid to do the rest of my makeup because I'm gonna miss something. 3.49, that's like a minute before my alarm goes off in the morning. <laughs> that's reassuring. See, I feel like I just saw a shadow in the background again. Hold on a minute, I'm gonna back up. Like look at the, am I seeing stuff? Maybe I'm just looking too much into it. I just feel like I'm seeing something in the, I don't know, I don't know, dude. Bro, oh my God, it chills, chills. Come on, Cannon, bro. But again, is that like outside? Is that in the, is that in the, is that in like the bathroom? It couldn't have been because I'm assuming he would have showed it. Like this dude's passed out. How can you sleep through this? I guess you've been up for 12 hours. I need to do my I need to do my mascara. But I don't want to miss anything. It sounds like wind. Oh shit! No fucking way. Bro, no fucking way. Oh my god, what was that? Oh my god, I am freaking out. Right? Yeah, do your reaction video. Oh, sorry. What's was going on? I'm watching haunted stuff. <laughs> When I normally watch these videos, I normally have my headphones in and I'm like, <gasps> like I'll just make faces and stuff and not like, not like this. Wow. I'm like sweating. Uh, I have mirror dry, which got rid of my sweat, but I can feel myself sweating through the shirt. That's how fucking nervous I am. Oh my God. Bro. Unless for some reason he had somebody like, cause there's, there has to be a window or something behind that. Unless he had somebody throw something into the window. I don't know. He's like, what is that? I hope you brought a gun or something, dude. Like, that's, that shit's dangerous to do on your own. Get out of the fucking sleeping bag, bro. Stop this. He like pulls out the phone, the phone flashlight. Bro, he's like, why are you crouching down like that? You think something's like gonna hit you on your head? Dude, you need to get like a real flashlight. What was thrown? Is there electricity in there? I guess so, it just sounds like the fridge kicked on or something. Well, let's just pause for a second because here's my thing. If he was actually sleeping, have you ever guys ever heard something when you're sleeping? And like you wake up and you're like, did you actually hear that? Like, was I sleeping? Was I not sleeping? So I get that like has to be fucking freaky. Oh God, that scared me. Oh, it was just the music. Wait, 
right, that's it. That's it. Wait, I'm so confused. Come on now. I'm really confused. Wait, is that really like the end? Yeah, I mean, that's the end of the video, obviously. Now he did just post, I was, I was at dinner with Nick last night. So like, I didn't see it. I like got a notification for it that he was doing a live at the Honeycutt farm. When I went to go look at it this morning, the live didn't save. Cause I guess what, what he did save was like saying that he's good. Like he posted a live on it. So I don't know if like him dropping his phone during the live video, cut it off where he did like the, that, but that's the end of your video, dude. You could have at least done like an outro and been like, oh, I stayed for a couple more hours and nothing else happened or do like something with it. Is there gonna be a part two? Oh, that's what a fucking bummer, man. Shit got real good at the end. I don't even have words. So this video is gonna be really long. I hope you guys really did enjoy watching this. This is my first reaction video. Next time I do reactions, it's not gonna be while doing my makeup, hopefully, unless you guys actually enjoy that. Um, I got most of the way through my makeup. All I gotta do is finish up my brows. Let me jump off camera and I'll be right back to give you my thoughts. All right, guys, I am back. My makeup's now done. Um, okay, so final thoughts. Obviously, why couldn't you just continue on? Like, do an outro, bro. I am really curious to see if he does a part two to this video. I hope that he posts an update or something about this because if that's the last honey cut farm video, I'm gonna be really upset. But anyway, guys, thank you so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did really enjoy it. This I love doing. I love doing reaction videos. I love watching all this content. If you guys have any recommendations for videos I should also react to that are also haunted related, I have a bunch of other ones. I want to do like reactions to tick haunted TikTok videos, reactions to other like nuke top five. He does them, um, which are like pretty much short and sweet. It'll be like compiling a bunch of different videos into like a 20 minute period to react. I just wanted to react to his videos first because they're like the most real raw you can get out there. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Until next time, I will see you guys in, I got a couple of videos popping out. The next ones will be um, more vloggy makeup style related videos. <laughs> see you guys.